Hello, and this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to do another Walking Dead action figure review, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Daryl and his custom chopper box set. Now this is Daryl with his new chopper from season 6 and forward. And honestly, I think this is kind of uh, the first letdown Walking Dead action figure I've actually got. And I'll elaborate on that a little more, but before we take a look at Daryl, let's take a look at his bike. Now, the main reason, well, one of the main reasons I don't like it, is that right out of the package, the handlebar broke right off. That is very disappointing. Because all I did was try to put Daryl on it, and then it just broke off. So that bothers me a lot, because it is his, him and his chopper, so for it to just be flopping is just kind of a letdown. So overall, I think the bike itself is is really nice, like all the detail. There's lots of detail on the tire there. Lots of detail, well, on the whole thing, on the engine, and all the parts on it. Now, I really don't know a lot about bikes, so I, I don't know what a lot of the pieces are, but I know that there is a lot of sculpting detail and paint detail going on on the bike. And there's his little bag that's sculpted in really nicely and colored really nicely, too. I think that looks really nice. And the wheels do work, so it can go back and forth like that, so I really like that. And it's got a working kickstand right there. There. But it's really thin, and it's very brittle, so uh, I feel like if you uh, actually rested it on the kickstand like you're supposed to, that it'd probably break. So even though this is nicely sculpted and it's got a lot of lots of paint detail on it, it's kind of a letdown for me. And it's also a letdown because Daryl doesn't fit on it at all. So to put him on it, his arms are way too short, plus he can't bend over. He can just do that. So that's another reason that I don't like it, because even if you uh, put him like that, he still can't uh, reach the handles, the handlebars. So that bothers me a lot. Because this thing is $40. And that's why I paid for it. So that's really expensive for it to be broke. And for Daryl not to be able to even sit on his bike. And uh, you can take his crossbow. And port it on the back. Like that. But then. It bends this right here. When you do that. So that bothers me a lot too. Because I, I was very excited for this because I have the original bike uh, of Daryl, the Daryl and his bike from the, from the, is it third, the third and fourth season. And it's still all in one piece. It is made a lot better. So that bothers me about that. So now I'm going to move on to Daryl. Now I'm going, before I uh, take a look at Daryl, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. First up comes with his knife right there. I'm scared of taking it in and out of its holster too because it's very thin. It's very thin and kind of uh, not really too flexible. So it's really brittle. And uh, Daryl can't hold that in either hand. It just falls right out of his hand. See, it doesn't uh, hold in his right hand or even his left hand. That doesn't really bother me a lot, because you can put it back in his sheath right there. Which way does it go? It goes this way. It goes in really easily, and stays. Won't fall out. And of course, his second accessory is his crossbow. I think his crossbow looks really nice. It's got the arrows right there. They're painted on really nicely. And it's got that splatter of like indigo on it. And I, I think this uh, this uh, strap right here, I think it's upside down. I think it was uh, put on upside down because I think this is supposed to be back here. I think. Yeah, because the strap right here is supposed to be like right here on him. And it's not. And uh, Daryl can hold this in one hand only. Since his arms can't really move that much, he can't. Uh, you can't get him in a pose with his crossbow. He just does that. So that really bothers me because like the first version of Daryl. Trying to get him to stand up here. 
Eh, I'll just lay him down. Because the first version of Daryl could hold his crossbow just fine. And I really like that. He can't really stand up too great either. But he can stand up. And this one just can't hold his crossbow at all. And you can't put it uh, over him. You can just put, put it over his shoulder. Like that. But I like Daryl to have him, like when I pose him around, I like to have him holding his crossbow. Because that's his trademark weapon. If he's not holding it, I just really don't like that. But the the figure, other than that, I think this uh, head sculpt actually is like 100% of Norman Reedus. Because I think his likeness is kind of tricky to translate into an action figure. Because some of the other toys haven't been able to translate it too well. But I think this really looks like Daryl. One thing I don't like is just how his eyes are, are painted on like he's looking to the side like that. Kind of looks a little funny. But his hair is sculpted nicely and came out clean. He's got lots of jackets on. He's got this jacket, this uh, jacket, and a vest underneath that. It's hot in Georgia where they film, so I don't know how he takes it. But it's sculpted really nicely. And his jeans have a texture to him, kind of a denim texture. I don't know if the camera pick that is picking that up, but it's got a lot of texture on it. And then down at the bottom of his feet, he's got a dry brushing of uh, brown, kind of like dirt. And he has the laces at the bottom of his jeans right there. And his boots are sculpted really nicely. And then nothing on the bottom, because that's where they have to put uh, all the info and stuff on it. So, I think this figure is really nice, but the articulation is is not good at all. Like the angel wings right there. They're sculpted on nicely, too. And there's his rag. I think that looks better than the previous rags that have been on Daryl, because uh, this one, yeah, this one just has that little tiny rag right there. So, I do like this one more, but I'm really let down by the bike. And the articulation of it. It's, it's kind of underwhelming. So now I'm going to go over his articulation. He's got a ball jointed head that can't move back at all. It can look down just a little bit. It can move side to side. He's got ball jointed shoulders that can only move out that far. He's got a single jointed elbow. He's got a swivel at the wrist that can move side to side. And up and down just a little bit. Not much. And he's got a ball jointed uh, diaphragm that can only move down just a little bit. And I think that's part of the reason that he can't ride the bike too great is because of the ball jointed diaphragm. Like on the Daryl, this one that came with the first chopper, his ball jointed diaphragm was very free and he could move a lot. He had a lot of range of motion. And this one can only move down just a little bit and back just a little bit and it can't move side to side. He's got a little bit of a swivel at the waist. He's got swivel thighs that can completely do a split. He can kick forward all the way. His sheath doesn't limit that. He can kick back that far because of his rag on his left leg. He can kick back really, really, really far. Like more than he should be able to. He's got a single jointed knee swivels and he has a swivel at the boot but it just kind of moves like that not not really too much so overall this figure kind of disappointed me because to pay all that money for for this and his chopper because you're basically paying for the chopper because the walking dead figures are normally just like 15 12 or 15 dollars so you're mostly paying for the chopper and then the chopper broke and daryl can't even ride it or even hold his crossbow just as a figure himself. So that does bother me. But here he is. Next to his broken bike. And I also just think that Daryl is just way too tiny for this bike. Because you can see right here. I just think he's... Or, or the bike's too tiny for him maybe. I don't know. There's just something off about this whole box set. There he's standing up. And then here it is compared to his first chopper. Let me get the kickstand out there. 
a little bit. It's not staying on there now. Of course not. There. So there's his first chopper. And then here's the Daryl that came with it. And uh, Daryl can kind of ride this bike if you want to. I'll go ahead and show that while I'm doing the review. If you want to have him riding the bike. He can actually ride it, but he, he still doesn't look right. He still looks a little too big for it, like the bike's too small. I don't think McFarlane Toys honestly scaled that to size. So, I suppose I'll just put this like this. But this one can still ride on it. I, I don't know why, well, his hands are falling out of it now, but he, if you wanted to, you could fiddle around with it and get him riding it, and it actually looks semi-normal. So, overall, like I said, this, uh, I don't know why I did that. This figure was underwhelming for me because I paid a lot for it, and then for it to just break right out of the package, and Daryl's, he doesn't fit on the bike, he's, he's, uh, his hands don't, doesn't fit on the crossbow. It's just really infuriating, and he doesn't stand up, he just wants to do that all the time. So overall, I, I, I don't really think that I would recommend it just because it's so expensive. And Daryl, uh, just a figure by himself, this version, is going to get a repaint for a Walmart 3-pack. So honestly, I'd just wait for that. I'd just wait for the 3-pack just to get Daryl because this, this bike is too small for him, he can't fit on it, and it breaks easily. So overall, I'd just wait for that, Daryl, and take a pass on this one. So that's my review. And if you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.